everybody, this is Shirley Henderson from ShareWork.com and today's episode of Share's podcast it is why the U.S. have the potential to become and build a super economy by Shirley Henderson. All right, guys, let's get started. The reason I came up with this um, study proposition, it is not a proposal. It is an effect that I have seen all around the world and throughout this almost two years since I've been following Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, I realized that there's two correlations. So based on these two correlations, that's how I came out with this um, theory and hopefully it can become a fact of how the U.S. can build a super economy. And two things, I realized that countries and economies where the social welfare of the citizens, it is provided such as free health care, free education, free housing, free some type of uh, spending money, and uh, the elderly are taken care of, housing for the elderly, uh, child care for the kids and you know, people don't have to focus their attention on how to get uh, their health care. You know, they don't have to worry about how they're going to pay for health care, how they're going to pay for education. Of course, they don't have student loans. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not in debt with education. Or they don't stop their education because they're fear of having debt uh, getting collected and their uh, paychecks uh, garnished by the government, like it is right now here in the United States. People cannot buy a house, people cannot buy a, a car, people can barely go buy food and never go to restaurants because they have to pay their student loans. So once the student loans get deleted, and we already know, uh, you go to my blog, shareatwork.com, and you will find out, uh, I made an article on how to get canceled student loans, and now we have uh, propositions by presidential candidates. They want to delete the, uh, the student loan uh, amount, national uh, debt, the, the balance, and that is a great pro proposition, that is a great proposal, that will put us up again and will give people the amount of money that the economy needs to get revitalized. So once the economy gets revitalized, th then we can start moving. It's like, okay, the engine of the economy of the United States will start. However, another countries that are going a far away, a, a far ahead from us, are those countries that they have free health care, free education, they don't have student loans, they have all these things provided for people. So the money that they make with their hard working, earned money goes back into the economy. They can buy houses, they can buy cars, they can buy clothing, they can um, go to restaurants and you know, those jobs that the economy builds are happening and another thing it is happening faster because they are using cyber money such as PayPal okay so in countries that they use the economy is using cyber money such as PayPal which is based on software and that printed uh, money you know here uh, in the United States we use cash we use uh, the fiat money, it's made by printed paper. Uh, they don't accept in many countries, they don't accept printed paper anymore. They use a system of PayPal or uh, WeChat. It's a, it's a system, it's a text uh, system they use and they uh, allow people to pay and receive money. And those tra transactions are cybernetic and super fast because they're based on the internet, like an email. Yes, and that's why the speed of those economies, of those countries, they're using um, uh, cyber money 
that is made uh, by software are super growing. They're super growing. Why? Because if you are, if you're using your credit card, they're going to charge you a fee for using your credit card. If you have a bank, they're going to charge you a fee for having your money there. If you don't, if you don't have the amount they're asking you to have, they're going to charge you. And there's fees, 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 fees. And PayPal and, and those things, they don't charge you as much, but there's something better. And I only have four more minutes to conclude this, uh, this article, that I'm, that I'm, this information that I'm giving to you after my research on cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are better ways to uh, use money. A, a cryptocurrency is money because money is an agreement that people make to buy and, and purchase and make financial transactions. All right. In the past, it was a fiat, like I said, it's printed money and then PayPal, which is a, a software. And now we have the cryptocurrency that is made uh, with cryptographic uh, code. Yes? So that said, that it's super fast, it's less fees than PayPal, and countries that are going super ahead of us, that they're using cryptocurrencies, are growing their economy faster. So, if the United States has the system where the social welfare is taken care of for the people, then the rest is taken care of because pe people will have the spending power to revitalize the economy, to push the flow of money, you know, back and forth in the economy. Companies like uh, Amazon and also uh, the centralized uh, marketplaces are gonna get and help the economy to grow faster. So I hope I was clear enough to you guys and I hope that you can see what I'm saying because you see countries that they don't have a strong uh, financial system like the United States and are going ahead faster. And why? Because they're using cyber money and they're using platforms such as AliExpress to buy and sell merchandise and services, and that is super fast. But uh, if we go one step further and we use centralized, centralized marketplaces such as Open Bazaar and such as other places, just Google, the centralized marketplaces. And then you, they will accept your cryptocurrencies to buy and sell whatever you want with zero fees. Okay, maybe some fees you have to look. I don't have the exact amounts, that's super details. Please do your research. This is not a financial advice. Do your own diligence and always make your own conclusions. But I see that countries that have the social welfare of the individuals taking care of and they have some type of speed in transactions, they're using some type of cyber money. They're growing faster and faster and faster and we're gaining behind, behind, behind. So if we want to stay up to date with the economy, that will be the best for everybody. That will be the best for the people, first of all, and then as a nation. I hope this is clear for you guys. Go to my blog, shareatwork.com, and subscribe to my newsletter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look for me on my social media, on whatever social media, Decentralized, Centralized. And I want to thank you so much. Like you, like you always know, I want to see you succeed in every area of your life. I am on the side of humankind. And see you guys back. Thank you, everybody.